Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. Uh, you can go ahead and check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus placements uh, for other messages. So if you're, you have Pisces in any of those placements, then this reading could have messages for you. So we're going to get straight into it and see who's coming through for Pisces. Okay, we got Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Get a few more cards out. Let's see who we're dealing with. Okay. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. That's very interesting. So pages are very young energy, whereas Queen and King energy is usually more mature which is an interesting dynamic here. So that tells me somebody who um, may be very new in their career or their studies, but then they're very mature in other aspects, especially in communication I'm seeing here with the swords energy. Um, we have the eight of swords, which would tell me that this person may be a little reluctant or has been reluctant to let you know that they're actually interested in you so we're gonna see um what else we can find out about them but how will pisces know who this is how will pisces know who this is okay interesting we have the hierophant that could be taurus um energy it doesn't have to be, but it could certainly be. Um, I said interesting because I saw the Seven of Swords. So it very much tells me somebody who is not opening up. They're kind of sneaking around in terms of like, they're not telling you that they have their eye on you or that they're interested in you. They're sneaking around just like this person holding the sword. So they haven't yet told you and that makes sense because there seems to be a bit of a... Um, a nervousness or an anxiety like they're holding back from you um the hierophant is also about like tradition status quo so it could be there's some sort of practical reason why they don't want to um let you know yet it could be something like your friends or um it's a work environment and they don't want to mess things up something like that there's some sort of like restraint in them like not telling you their true feelings yet so let's take a look at what this person's intention or their actions are going to be within the next couple weeks. Let's see if they're going to do anything here. Okay. With the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. Everything is falling. I hate it when that happens. We have the Temperance card. It is reversed. Interesting. Keep it that way. That's Sagittarius energy. So temperance would normally be like a stillness or like a patience energy. It being reversed tells me this person is more impatient. The Ten of uh, Wands is also like a big burden that like is about to burst, right? Because it's a ten. It's the end of the the numbers, the minor arcana cards so everything's coming to a culmination so it could be like the pressure builds within them for a long time and they're suddenly like i need to do something about this let's see if we can get a little more info what is this person's action the moon okay but it's reverse this is pisces energy your energy um so the moon reverse i always take it as like clarity so they gain some sort of clarity, but I do wonder what they're going to do with that. So let's see what is this clarity that they're gaining. Oh, okay. That came out fast. So we have the Eight of Wands, which is the card of communications. I'm going to get one more card about this Eight of Wands. And the moon energy, which is what I was pulling on. This is clarity. Okay. 
Ooh, we have the tower with the, oh, we have a lot. The king of pentacles, the five of swords, the tower. It seems like they're going to have this like light bulb moment, this epiphany moment. And then they're going to be pushed to communicate with you almost immediately following that. I want to see what they want to say since we got the communication and we have this like clarity and light bulb moment. So let's see what messages they have. What messages does this person have for Pisces? something <laughs> oh I'm confused oh and I pulled another one I'm sorry I'm confused oh and we have another card that flipped over here we have I want to start over okay those messages make sense together um let's pull some oracle cards see what else comes through for Pisces We have Daydream and we have Open Up. Hold on here. Number 11 and we have Open Up. So this person's like daydreaming about being able to be honest with you and open with you and let you know exactly how they feel. And then they have this light bulb moment. Something happens, you know, we're getting the tower, we're getting this clarity, we're getting like this overwhelmed feeling like where they are definitely being pushed towards you, pushed towards... Um, telling you the truth to opening up towards you so it's like they're dreaming about it for a long time they're thinking about it for a long time and then something just hits them out of nowhere where they're really pushed to move towards you so ooh, my gosh okay it's time to take action exactly what i was saying that something is um pushing them towards you um that is aries which is also very tower energy um we have the end of a tough cycle of purchase which is full moon in capricorn and then we have conclusions are within me reach full moon eclipse yeah so this person is very pushed to like move towards you and tell you how they really feel i kind of want to pull more about what they feel because it hasn't revealed a lot what are this person's True feelings towards Pisces. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, look, we got the sun. That kind of flying off onto the floor. This is Leo energy. So they see you as the sun in their lives, like the light in their lives. Everything about you brings positive emotions, positive feelings in them. That's their feelings towards you. It's so positive. So they may be, for some reason, I'm getting a feeling they're a little bit like, I guess like insecure like not in like not trying to insult them or anything but like they feel a little down in the dumps for whatever reason it could be something that happened in their past and so they see you as like the light at the end of the tunnel and their happiness and you kind of just shine a light on them even before you're even together or before they even admit their feelings for you they're um they just get such warm, fuzzy feelings about you. So that is really nice. Okay, we're going to pull some initials for you. And then that will be your reading. Okay, so we have D. We have Q. We have I. And we have U. U-D. That's so weird. <laughs> um, so that is your reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All the videos are up now. You are the last video, so uh, you can check those out for other messages that may be relevant to you. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next uploads, and I will catch you all in my next prediction. Bye!